Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD or another video specific to another stock. Okay, because I'm trying out this um, new segment where I just discuss a, a, a specific stock just for you. So you don't have to wait for a very long video just to hear my insights for the stocks that you are uh, holding. Okay, so let me know if this works for you or you'd like me to discuss uh, like what I had before where I have uh, so many stocks in one video. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> I just want to go uh, go ahead and uh, discuss Apollo Global Capital Incorporated. So if this is a video you like to watch um, every single day specific to the stock market, uh, trading and investing, I... I'd like to assume that this is the channel for you. So you're invited to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. Okay, so let's talk about APL. Just for the record, guys, APL is also in my portfolio. My average here is sitting around 0.23 and I was able to uh, take profit, um, I think, 30% of my size. I was able to take profit at 0.28, and I still have a few shares uh, left. Actually, uh, around 70% left in my portfolio, and uh, still holding because I have, as I shared in my previous videos, I like to stay in a stock uh, for um, an extended period of time because I am more of a position trader, mid to long term investor in some of the stocks I'm uh, holding. So APL is um, a company in the mining sector. Uh, in the previous months, we all know that uh, we're very bullish about this company because of the offshore mining. The, this company had a partnership with, I believe, I forgot the name, uh, Chinese investor, right? So they're mining uh, magnetite in Cagayan de Oro. So uh, I think a lot of you guys specific to uh, the holders you're you're in this stock for I'm sure mid to long term uh, time horizon okay so what do I see in the stock specific to the technicals guys so the focus of this discussion is really more on the technicals uh, I'd like to uh, maybe let me see not much uh, news about the stock in the past few days so we'll just focus on the technicals. What I can see here using the Bollinger Band, the volume, RSI that I use as my main indicators, my outlook for this stock is still, um, I'd say it could still go sideways or it could even dip. Okay. So this is not hyping guys or anything. And this is very straightforward. Just talk talking about what I see on the chart, okay? So at the moment, what we have um, created here, one is when it dipped and recovered, it created a lower high. So as you can see here, when it bounced right here, um, much lower than the previous high. So if I am to draw a uh, trend line, so the current trend of this stock is currently moving in a downward uh, direction. So that is the um, direction that it is forming. And um, another thing to take note of is that uh, we have a support established here. And back in or on the 10th of March, we broke out of that support but recovered uh, the next day. However, we just stayed flat on this area uh, last Friday. So this means that somehow we're a bit struggling in breaking that uh, resistance level. Okay, so we're not successful as of yet. Two things can happen. One is if we break out of this level, probably uh, continue another green tomorrow, then that's good. We might have a continuation to the upside, but there's a resistance again at the point 24. Uh, this level over here acted as a support. At the same time, your MA20 line is also sitting at that level, so that could be your short-term resistance. However, 
given that you had some foreign buying, uh, selling, foreign selling that happened. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this could trigger, all right, this could trigger some more dips in the coming days in case we do not break the 0.20 area. Okay, so I'd say wait for that green candlestick or wait for it to drop some more. And the next area that we are going to closely monitor would be the 0.16 level. Okay, 0.1647. Seven. So if I'm to erase the uh, drawings here, you are currently forming this descending triangle. So I'd say uh, all the holders out there, let's just be on the lookout. Uh, at the same time, it's really worth remembering your objective, why you entered in this stock. At least if you, to begin with, if you had that mindset that you are going to stay in the stock for mid to long term, then make sure you take action according to your perspective, according to your objective. Because if you are going to um, engage in it for mid to long term, so when it dips, instead of panicking and selling, then that will be your opportunity to buy some more. Okay, point 16 is uh, for me, the next support to monitor, if we see stabilization right there, good to add some more, right? Um, if we break out of uh, the point 20 area, even better, because that would mean we've, uh, we started breaking out of that uh, downtrend channel. But overall, guys, um, so far, I still believe in the company, but we just have to monitor. So nothing, let me just open this six days ago. What is this? I haven't really uh, seen any. Mm, just change of. Uh, what is this? Okay. So okay, so this just talks about uh, a director resigning. Okay. So I think this does not uh, really influence the movement right now. Um, just be uh, between the stock breaking out and the stock dipping, uh, my assessment, given what is happening right now, the uh, overall uh, outlook of the index and the Philippine uh, market as a whole is that we're still not out of the woods yet. The uh, pandemic is still continuously uh, impacting our economy on the negative side, so we could still we could still experience some declines or some uh, consult consolidation in the uh, lower part over here. So I'd say do not rush. Do not rush. I think if we want to enter and add more volume, we could get it at a much lower price. So good luck in your trades tomorrow, guys. I hope um, you are profitable. I hope the movement of our stocks will go in the direction we want. And uh, let me know if uh, this vid video has helped you somehow uh, in your trades. And uh, feel free to uh, make a comment and uh, suggest a stock you'd like me to review so I can uh, make a video out of those as well. In the meantime, thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.